Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over how to use the advanced features in the item and recipe management window. There are three features that are available here, replace ingredient, amalgamate, and associate items. Replace ingredient can be used to replace one ingredient with another for one or multiple recipes. Amalgamate will allow you to combine the usage for two items if you've created a duplicate item by accident. Associate items will allow you to copy case sizes from one supplier to another for the same item. The first thing we're going to do is navigate to the item and recipe management window. This is going to be found in the miscellaneous section on the main menu on the right side. From here, you'll notice that we have the three options that we talked about at the top. We're going to go over replace ingredient first. Now when you first look at it, you're going to notice that it's grayed out. This is because we have nothing selected. So let's find the ingredients that we want to replace. In this example, we're going to be substituting white cheddar with mozzarella cheese here. So if we highlight white cheddar, we can see all of the products that it's in. From here, we can highlight the products we want to replace. So I'm going to highlight both of them by clicking one, holding shift, and clicking the bottom one. What this is going to do is it's going to highlight both of these, and if there were any products in between, it would highlight those as well. Once we do that, we can click Replace Ingredient, and it's going to bring up the Replace Ingredient window, where we can search for the item we want to replace it with. In this case, it's going to be mozzarella. So we can search that up select it. One thing to note is when you are selecting an item, you'll need to make sure that the unit of measure type is either usable or the same as the item you're replacing. As an example here, we're putting an ounce, so we have a weight type item. Once we have that selected, we can click replace. It'll ask us if we want to continue, click yes. Now we can see that there's nothing in the white cheddar, but if we go to mozzarella, it's in all three of these products. The next feature to go over is the amalgamate function. This is a tool that is used to combine usage for two items. This is usually used if a duplicate item has been made and the usage has been split up between the two items. I usually recommend making a backup before you amalgamate anything as it cannot be undone. After you have your backup created, you can click the amalgamate button to bring up the amalgamate window. And in here you can see it's sort of split into two sections. We have our master item and our duplicate item. The master item is going to be the item that you're using going forward. So this is going to be the one that absorbs all of the usage from the duplicate item. The duplicate item is going to be the one that you're going to be deactivating and not using anymore. So let's do an example. In this database, I know that we have two items for cucumber. We have cucumber and fresh cucumber. So we're going to amalgamate all of the fresh cucumber usage into cucumbers. So in the master item, we have cucumbers highlighted. We'll go into the duplicate item section and search up fresh cucumber and then highlight that. One thing to note is the unit of measure type will need to match between the two items in order for it to amalgamate successfully. Once we have our two items selected, we can click amalgamate at the bottom and it's going to pop up saying, do you want to copy the current case size from the duplicate to the master? In this scenario, I'm going to say no to that, but if you do need to copy the case size from the duplicate item to the master one, you can click yes. Once we do that, the last step is going to be to deactivate the duplicated item so we can search it up. Once we find it here, we can just uncheck the active box. That way it's not going to show up in any future reports or inventories. The last thing I'm going to go over is the associate items tool. This can be used to copy a case size within an item from one supplier to another. This can be used if you're switching suppliers and all or most case sizes are going to be remaining the same. To use it, let's click into it and it's going to bring up the associate items window. From here, it's broken into two different sections. We have the copy from and copy to. Copy from is obviously the supplier that we're going to be taking the information from. So let's select national supplier as an example. And the copy to is going to be the supplier that's receiving the case size. So let's choose Jerry's Food Distributors. From here, you can just move over any case sizes that you're wanting to. You can move one at a time. Or if you're wanting to move them all over, you can highlight the first option, hold shift, highlight the bottom option, and it'll highlight everything in between. And then we can move that over. Once it's moved over, we can click save. This might take a minute or two, but once it's complete, all of these case sizes will have been copied over from National Supplier to Jerry's Food Distributor. So as an example, let's go into this almonds here. If we go into here and click View All, we can see we have a case size for National Supplier, and then we also have one for Jerry's Food Distributor. That is how you use the Replace Ingredient, Amalgamate, and Associate Item tools that are located in the Item and Recipe Management. Thanks for watching.